How to orient your solar panels for maximum efficiency? Hey there, folks! If you've invested in solar panels for your home or business, you'll want to make sure they're set up in the best possible way to capture maximum sunlight. Today, we are going to talk about the two most important angels you need to consider when positioning your solar panels, as well as some other key factors. The Ajmuth Angle the first angle we need to look at is called the azimuth angle. This is the horizontal direction your solar panel faces. Imagine standing in front of your panel and looking straight ahead. The azimuth angle is the angle between the north direction and the point on the horizon directly below the sun. For example, if your panel is facing directly east, its azimuth angle would be 90 degrees. If it's facing south, the azimuth angle would be 180 degrees. And if it's facing west, the angle would be 270 degrees. The tilt angle. The second important angle is the tilt angle. This is the vertical inclination of your solar panel, the angle between the horizontal ground and the solar panel itself. A tilt angle of zero degrees would mean your panel is completely flat on the ground. An angle of 90 degrees would have the panel standing straight up, perpendicular to the ground. Most experts recommend setting your tilt angle close to your latitude, the number of degrees you are north or south of the equator. So, if you live at 40 degrees north latitude, you'd want your tilt angle to be around 40 degrees. Other important factors in addition to the azimuth and tilt angels, there are a few other factors to consider for optimal solar panel performance. Albedo refers to the reflective properties of the ground surface under the solar panels. A higher albedo, or a more reflective surface, can help bounce additional sunlight onto the panels, improving their efficiency. Rotoro spacing is also crucial, especially in larger solar installations. You'll want to space the rows of panels far enough apart to prevent one row from shading the next, particularly when the sun is low in the sky. Clearance is another consideration, you'll need to leave enough space between the panels and the ground to prevent shading, allow for airflow and cooling, and provide access for maintenance. And finally, you'll want to make sure there's no shading from the racking or mounting structures themselves onto the solar panels putting it together. Now, you might be wondering, how do I figure out the best azimuth and tilt angels for my location? Well, some online calculators and tools can help you determine the optimal angels based on your latitude and longitude. Generally speaking, you'll want your azimuth angle to be somewhere between southeast and southwest, so your panels are facing the sun as it moves across the sky throughout the day. Your tilt angle should be close to your latitude, adjusting a bit for the seasons if you want to maximize production in summer or winter. By getting these two angels just right, along with considering the other factors like albedo and spacing, you'll ensure that your solar panels are perfectly positioned to soak up as much of that free, renewable energy from the sun as possible. It. Folks, the secrets to orienting your solar panels for maximum efficiency. It might take a little bit of research and adjustment, but getting those azimuth and tilt angels dialed in, along with optimizing the other installation factors, will pay off big time in the form of lower energy bills and a smaller carbon footprint. Thanks for watching and happy sun